Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Foreigner. Old man action seems to be its own subgenre within Hollywood over the past several years. Liam Neeson had an entire career renaissance based off of really revitalizing the older men in action genre. And then, of course, we saw things like The Expendables, like Red. We saw Pierce Brosnan, who is starring in this film, also have his own run at it with The November Man. Denzel Washington has been doing it. And we even saw an old man heist movie a little bit earlier this year with Going In Style. And now, Jackie Chan, amidst his own career revitalization, joins in on the older male action front. And he delivers a nice, solid little film. So let's go ahead and start off with those positives. And I'm going to start off with Jackie Chan himself. I have really enjoyed watching Jackie Chan come back with kind of a second career over the last year or so. And it's mostly been in animation and doing voice work, a lot of comedy. So I was actually really excited to see him return to the action field and do what he got famous doing. And I think this was a very good movie for him. I think he was really strong in delivering the void that his character just kind of didn't feel any emotion throughout. And I do think he was really good with the action he needed to do. But he also acted very well. I thought he had the pain underneath that void throughout. So just a very good, different performance from Jackie Chan. It's nice to see him given a more serious film and given a more serious role and have him deliver. Pierce Brosnan is here and he also is very good. He has an Irish accent throughout and I didn't hear it ever slip. I think he held onto it very well. But he plays a role a little bit different than we're used to with Pierce Brosnan. So both veteran actors stepped outside of their comfort zone a little bit and delivered really nice performances, really refreshing stuff from both Brosnan and Chan. This film was also just kind of a lean cut of an action film. It flies by, it's really well paced, it's nicely edited for the most part, and it keeps you guessing, it keeps you interested, it keeps you involved in the case we're all trying to solve throughout. And even when the case unveils itself and shows itself, you're still really <laughs> invested in Jackie Chan's personal case here, as well as just kind of the world at large type thing. So. Big kudos to the director and the filmmaker for really getting everybody interested and keeping it at a reasonable length and keeping it moving at a fun pace. Plus, the action is inventive and fun in a lot of ways. It was nice to see a different type of anti-hero, of vigilante. This wasn't necessarily Taken or The November Man or The Equalizer. He was a much more tactical fighter than any of those men. Plus, the filmmakers did a wonderful job at making sure Jackie Chan stayed relatable, that he stayed sympathetic to the audience. It was always really fun and nice to actually see when he would take people down, he never killed anyone. He always tied them up or knocked them out, and he made it a point within his character not to be just killing these innocent people that were just doing their jobs, even though they were in essence, trying to kill him. And there's one moment with the dog that really just kind of like summed his character up and just how beautifully the filmmakers made him still seem sympathetic. Because at first, you're obviously on his side, but you're like, hmm, this seems a little bit like borderline terrorist from this man, like going off the grid. But also kudos to the filmmakers there for just kind of like adding in those layers. It wasn't just cut and dry. There weren't just good people, bad people. Most everybody in the film did good things and they did bad things and there was no real clear cut who our good guy, bad guy type were. Now as for the negatives in this film, it doesn't break any new ground. We don't get revolutionary action as nice and well shot as it is. Nothing is like crazy or new here. And the formula here is very much in line with every other mid-size action plot line. So they don't push the envelope, they don't look to create anything new, there's not much that is fresh going on. So in many ways, 
it just is another kind of like mid-grade action film. I also think the palette was a little bit dark, so that, that also kind of contributed to it feeling kind of small. Like it all felt a little bit low budget in, a, in many senses. I also think that the first act and setting everything up and setting up these rules drug out a little bit too long. So once we get into the action, it really moves. And overall, the movie is really well paced, but there is that moment near the beginning where it does seem to kind of just drag. And then finally, once we get into all of the craziness at the end, once everything starts unraveling and we start learning about who these people are or what's going on, it was a bit much. It got into, well, this person knows this person and this person knows this person, so this person has to be connected into this. And it all just kind of seemed like, well, all right, we are throwing everything into this jambalaya of a mystery, huh? It was just too convoluted and they didn't really have much fun with the fact that it had gotten so like bombastic and crazy, which is a disappointment because earlier in the film, there are several points where you can see the filmmakers making a nod and, and having fun with it. But there, once we get toward the end, it doesn't jump the shark like action wise and it doesn't get big and bombastic and crazy scale wise, but the plot and the script and the writing just go overboard and it's too much. They wanted to make everybody involved some way, somehow, and I was like, ugh, this wasn't necessary. But overall, I think The Foreigner is a solid, middle of the road action film. It gives Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan something fun and different to do, and it executes a mid-level actioner very well. So I say give this a matinee. I don't think it's quite up to the quality of purchasing a full price ticket, but I think if you enjoy action films, a matinee is a great price for this. If not, if you're looking for something to watch at home, it makes for a solid rental. So that has been my review of The Foreigner. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Foreigner? Or have you already seen it? If you had, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.